What's going on everybody? It is, we are about a month out from opening day of deer season. I couldn't be more excited. Uh, we're back on some public land. We hunted the last two weeks of season last year and couldn't be more excited because there is a lot of deer out here and there's a lot of big deer out here. Um, I just came down in a spot we scouted. We never hunted it because we only had two weeks. So we went to where we knew deer were, but we scouted this area last year and there was just deer sign everywhere. Um, I'm actually just now walking into the woods and there's deer trails, I mean, piled on top of each other. So I've got a cell cam with me. We're gonna walk down in here and see if we can see any sign. I mean, obviously they're walking in here. It's padded down almost to dirt where they're walking this trail. Some older rubs in here. So let's walk on up here and see what we see. right down in here it goes down into a bottom and on this other side it goes onto a big hillside and on that hillside up here is a flat and then it goes straight back down so last year they used that flat as walking because it's so big it probably goes I don't know 150 yards to the right and left and it's I mean it's just an easy funnel for deer to go on top of so let's walk up here and see if we see anything I just now started to climb the hill to come to the top not where I want to be yet, but all up through here is thick grass right there. And it'd be a good spot if we could set up somewhere right here, but I just came on the side of this hill. I hadn't made it to where I want to, but all right here is, all right here is just padded down where they've been walking. So this will be a good spot to set up watching both, cause you can see down in this little valley here and all the way down to the creek on the right side. A good spot right here. I'm gonna keep walking on up. I saw a big rub up here. It's an old last year's rub, but it's a pretty good uh, man, yeah, that's a pretty good one. I'm gonna keep walking this hillside and see what happens. There's a lot of deer sign in here so far. Alright, we got the camera set right here on this tree. Got these stealth cams set up off the ground there. I like to set mine a little bit higher. That way it's just, you know, public land. Sometimes people come by, you know, snag them out or whatever. So I set mine up a little bit higher. But we're up on this open flat here. Well, right off of the flat. The flat is right up here. And it goes down to a creek bottom down here. And last year, right on the edge of this, these deer were walking. There were deer droppings all over the place. And there's acorn trees everywhere. So I set it up right off of this good trail right here. So we'll see what happens. I mean, it's just a natural place for deer to be walking. So looks like a couple deer tracks right there. I want to get out of here. I've I've uh, I've walked this area a pretty good bit. We're going to go on up to a different area for a little while and see what we can come across. But I like what I found in here. So we'll leave this here for a week and a half, two weeks. See if anything's coming through here. And hopefully we'll catch a, a nice buck cruise and I feel like we will. So good area for deer to be in. Let's go check out something else. This deer trail right here goes all the way around right towards where my camera is. There's a bunch of old rubs up here too. walking for a long time but I finally got down in this other spot and it's beautiful so as you can see it drops off back behind me I don't know what you guys can see I got it turned around here but right down here is a creek and last year right up on this hill behind me there was a rub I mean 
literally it was so big couldn't wrap my fingers around it so i'm gonna go down and see where they're crossing this creek at because it looks like it flattens out unless it goes back up on the other side but i'm gonna go down here there's literally trails i mean where it's just dirt on this hillside i don't i can't tell whether if it's hogs or deer but it looks like deer trails to me that's what we're going to call it because this part looks good I think I found where they're crossing is at. I'm on a trail right here and I happen to look over. There's a big buck track right there. I happen to look over and see all this dirt right here. Then I looked over on the other side. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but might have been climbing up. Definitely deer tracks. I thought it was hogs at first. Let me go look over here real quick. Oh yeah, just deer tracks everywhere. All on this bank. Man, this is pretty. It opens up on that other side. Let's go check it out. Pulled my spot point out. Wasn't taking any pictures for some reason. It's messed up or something. So snagged it out. I know there's deer here. I've I've seen bucks here recently. So and there's just deer tracks all over this trail I'm on. So we're gonna back go ahead and back out. I don't need to scout this. I know where the deer are, so we'll probably be here opening week. Um I know there's another hunter that's probably close to here. So and I, he knows the bucks are here too. So we're going to see what happens. But hopefully, either, either way it's happy. I know the guy that hunts close to here. Um, so either way, I'm gonna go ahead and walk out. I don't wanna spook these bucks up. Sneak past her. Had to get past her. She she moved up by me and just kept feeding her. Eventually walked off. So that's good. I don't want to get busted before season. Deer up on their feet moving though, so the only reason I came back in this area. Just to get my camera out because it's not working. All right, Dad has finally met up with me. He's been working all day and I've been playing. So we're we just I didn't film any of it. Found great time. Don't know why I didn't film it, but we're down here on the border of some private and WMA, and we're going to walk. We're about 200 yards off the private. Um, looks like it goes into a hard saddle down here and there's a big ridge on the left side. It's just, it's crazy terrain and it looks great. So, ooh, look at that. That's an old screen. 
I already found a good road, or old road. Good old road right there. Oh, all right. Anyways, we're gonna get down in here and see if we can find some sign. There's a creek that runs through this bottom. Whenever we were, it's the same creek that Dad's gonna be sitting on open in the morning, but he's sitting about 300 yards up creek. So, all right, let me get down in here and see what I found. several way through here. See what it pressed down these leaves. It's a hard transition right here. Because it's just some really thick stuff. You need to see where there's, there's tracks everywhere. All right, we're out on a private piece today. We're going to go scout it out. I got permission, so I shoot a lot of weddings and do a lot of videography. And we got actually a little piece of public, um, private land here. It's like 40 something acres, but uh, it's good, good looking land. And they say, yeah, anytime you want to hunt, just come out and hunt it. So here I am, I'm going to go out here and scout it out. Just walk around and see what we can find. I mean, I looked on the map, I scouted it out. There's actually a creek that runs through it. Um, so, let's just go in here and see what we can find. I just said watch out for snakes, and there's a big old oak snake thing in here. I think it's just a skin. Oh, <laughs> I thought it was a full snake. Yeah, me too. Yeah. You got oak snake. That's a recent, that's a recent though, look. <laughs> it's still got... Slightly. Well, we're yeah. out here. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> After I just said, watch out for snakes. <laughs> a lot of this south side of the property is all this thick stuff. So, looks like it over here, it goes into a creek bottom. You look back on the map, it goes downhill a little bit, not a lot, but there's a creek bottom and it runs up to a saddle. So, go up here, but yeah, all this kind of looks like bedding to me. I mean, it's the habitat for bedding. I hadn't saw any sign, but I assume this is probably where, unless they're on the other side of that creek, since so it's still early in season. Got our first couple deer tracks coming right here. 
is actually the border. There's a big field out there. Just walking this little trail down. Looks like they're feeding in this field. I hear music playing over there too, so probably somebody's house, but I'm guessing my assumption may have been right. They're feeding out here at night and coming back on this stick stuff to bed down. Or move down on this creek bottom. So hopefully that's where they are. I think that's I think that's gonna be the idea. I just realized I was talking the whole time without the camera facing me and I don't know why I did that. But anyways, I think that's the idea is they're feeding in this little field. Then they're um, coming back in this stick stuff to bed down. So I hear a house. Or I think I seen a house on the map over there. So here's some tracks. in this little piece back here that behind me it's just all so thick it goes back to a very narrow creek and it didn't open up like I thought it would at all I want to try to go up to the front of the property and come in that way because it's an all it's all it is is a dirt road and deer cross that road all the time so if I can just get a small opening somewhere there's deer trucks all down this main road but supposedly there's tune houses here too, so if I could find the opening where they are, I'm assuming I could find some opening in the woods where I could have a saddle set up. It's barn. We'll see. Can't see it really good, but see where that's laid down right there. Well, I mean, we're literally off the main trail here. It's like a small deer bed. It's not a big deer. It's all back in the stick stuff. Looks like somebody had the idea we were hunting at last, but that tree stand fell over. I was watching this straight away, which is where I found the bed right over here. Just watching that straight away. So it's watching all that thick stuff, but I'm hope I was hoping I could get back there on that tree line. But it's just so thick. I'm gonna try one more thing when we go to exit out, but it's just so thick back there, I'm not sure if I can get to it. So, Last thing we were gonna try is walk down this trail that the tree stand is on and see if there's anything on it. Then we're just gonna set, the, set a camera up right here behind us on this trail, close to that bed. So, I don't know, let's see. I, don't, I, shoot, I really don't know, all this is so thick. Whenever we first started talking about the land, I said it was all uh, it looked like it was a bunch of bedding. They got plenty of places to. Man, it's bright out here. Quadruple check it. It's on. <laughs> I can't tell you how many times I've I've actually walked away from the camera and it's not on. So there's my little hole I got cleared out for small blind. I might just put some camera on. Some good camera. Over. Little crouching spot. I think I can get an arrow through there. Let's do it. Alright, let's get out of here and get something to drink. It's hot out here. It's like, the truck says 88 degrees. And we're in South Alabama. So, for everybody who has seen, I've been. Uh, earlier or whenever I post this in a video, I'm not sure. 
We are on a pretty nice deer at our new public land that we are hunting this year. Um, we jumped them up. I didn't get it on video, but we did end up jumping the deer. There's, I don't know exactly how big it was, but it was a big deer. So we're going to get in there open in the morning, see if we can get on him. Dad's going to be up, uh, up creek, probably about three, four hundred yards. So, anyways.